Hello, hello, and welcome to another unexpected results on the Sly4 channel. Another pack of cans and warning aspirant on the front. So let's get straight into the pack. There's a little bit of crackling there. Mm, packs. So we go straight in with a salt roll. Salt Road Patrol. Salt rolled. Don't know where I was going with that. Uh, three and a white. Human Scout with Outlast. F yeah. It's a 2 5. Seems good. Good defender. Uh, yeah. Good defender and has Outlast, so. Can give itself a counter, which in Abzan is all the abilities. In other decks, not so good. Then. We have a disdainful stroke. Ooh. One and a blue counter target spell with converted mana cost four or greater. So yeah, countering all the big teamer cards. All the, like bomb cards, things like that. Pretty good, pretty good. Beautiful return. We had this one last time. So uh if you want to see what Dutiful will you want to hear my opinions on Dutiful Return, you can go to the last one, the last video, last week's. Then we have Savage Punch. I was wondering when I put one of these on video. Savage Punch, one of the green, sorcery, target creature you control, fights target creature you don't control. And it's got a nice picture of Sorak punching a bear in the face. Got a nice little close up on that. So there you go. Um, yeah, it also has Ferocious, this creature, that, the creature you control gets plus two plus two until end of turn. So that's pretty good. And it's before it fights. So yeah, a nice buff there as well. Then we've got Dismal Backwater. Another Lifeland. Uh, yeah, the Demir Life Game Land. Then we've got Bloodfire Mentor, two and a red for an Ifrit Shaman, uh, a zero five, so a good defender, and uh, two and a blue tap, draw a card, then discard a card, so a bit of looting. I think it's looting anyway. But yeah, so a nice little bit of uh, sorting, looting, whichever scavenging. Lens of Clarity. The anti-morph card that no one will ever play. <sighs> See, no one will ever play it. Yeah, it's still a you can square whenever you feel like it as a one-drop artifact, which seems good. Like the only thing you can't do with it that Scry does is putting it to the bottom. You still get to plan around your next card as if it's in your hand. So, I like the idea of it, but I'm never really going to run it. I also quite like the artwork where it's the big morph in the background and it's like, look, this is what it actually is. Then we have a War Behemoth, another Abzan card, and a morph to go with my Lands of Clarity. So, uh, it comes in for five and a white, morphs for four and a white. And it's a 3-6. No outlast or anything like that. It's just a pretty big defender. Then we have a Scoured Barons. White black. Uh, Lifeland. Again, we had this backwater, it's basically the same. Embodiment of Spring. I've had a few of these. Uh, one blue for a 0-3, which is a decent early game defender. Um, and then you can spend one a green to tap to sacrifice embodiment of spring. Search for a library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle your library. So he's a basic defender for Teema until yours like until the other player gets too big. And then you just turn around and go, I'm just gonna sack this and uh, get a land instead. Because it'll be more useful for me. Or you can always block with him, and if he's going to die, just go, no, I'll sack him instead. Thanks. Good old tap abilities. 
venerable Lemas. I'm not too fond of these. Okay, they're flying and they're a 5 4, but 7 drop. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Triple crits first all the way. Ooh. No, oh, and that was our uncommon, I think. That was the first uncommon. Second uncommon is a Demo Charm. The charms are always pretty good. Um, so the tar charms drop for one of each of their three colours. So this is a teamer. Um, and the abilities, it's an instant. Choose one, target creature gets plus one, plus one, and fights target creature. Uh, counter target spell unless it's controller pace three, or creatures with power three or less can't block this turn. So you can stop chump blockers, you can force a fight, or you can counter something. Just seems pretty good. Next, we have Warden of the Eye. I don't have one of these yet. Hmm. Seems okay. Nothing amazing. Two in Jeskai. So two blue, white, red. Uh, yeah, blue, red, white. Two blue, red, white. Uh, for a 3-3. Three, three. And when it enters the battlefield, return target, non-creature, non-land card from your graveyard to your hand. So, you can return a triplicate spirit, you can return a raise the alarm, you can return a nice big combat trick. Seems okay, but nothing amazing. You'll... You can return a Jeskai's Ascendancy, if someone destroys one. That makes it a little bit better. But still not sure. It is a creature after all and doesn't trick prowess, but but then it is a 3 3 creature. So depends on how you want to look at it. And our rare is an Ivory Tusk Fortress. A ridiculous elephant from Abzan. Is the equivalent of the Warden of the Eye, because it's two and then Abzan, which is white, black, green. Uh, for a 5 7, and you untap each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter during each other player's untap step. So in Abzan, where you've got nothing but counters, you basically have Vigilance, and you untap infinitely. And then we have a Plains. So yeah, of that pack, the rare is ridiculous. That's definitely going in my Abzan deck. The Ivory Tusk. Without the Ivory Tusk, I think pick of the pack would have to be the Demo Charm, because charms are always worth it. Their versatility is great. They are three different spells in one for three. Like, if you wanted a fight card, you might pay two, but for one extra, to have it as a fight card, or a creatures can't block, which would cost more than three, most likely, or a counter unless target only place pays three. Just the versatility is worth the extra one mana that you might spend for the actual spell. They're just great. The charms are just great. If you're not running them, you should be. And I should be. But unfortunately, I don't actually have the money to buy them. Even though they're probably not that much. But yeah. There you go. That was the pack. And it seemed pretty good. I will see you all next time for more pack opening and I think we've only got a month left until Fate, Refor Fate Reforged comes out so look forward to that two more videos and then my packs will be changing the format will be changing so goodbye <laughs>